Oh, but there's another thing you need to look at, which is Millie's little logbook here. <laughs> this is a code I can solve. It's rather simple. Just substitute uh, letters for numbers. See, 1, that's A, 2 is B, and so on. And uh, I believe the code is something like, do do do, in this logbook is a clue, or something something, in the glue. It really doesn't help you at all, actually. Um, here are the props. That's good to know, and you need to check out this. Actually, maybe you don't. Here are some missing props. Ooh, we'll find them all as the uh, game progresses, but this is the uh, important thing. Millie, WWB 1958. It's her computer log on. Good to know, good to know, good to know. Okay, I'm shutting my book now. And here's a typewriter. The typewriter drops its Y. <gasps> oh my goodness. Is this the typewriter that those threatening messages were written on? I believe so. Oh, and here's that memo from 1954. <coughs> <laughs> what can we do now? Well, let's talk to Lillian Weiss, the director. Ah, I see Maddie's friend is now working as an extra for us. So, are you trying to get discovered, or are you just hard up for a job? Hmm, somebody's mean. I'm working mean. with Dwayne Powers' agency. I heard he's a really good agent. Oh, please. Don't get your hopes up too high. It's not like you're working for commercial artists or Edison talent. We use Dwayne whenever we need someone right away. Usually extras or gophers. If we really need talent, we call someone else. Ooh. I thought you might be interested to know that I found a light clamp on the set. It looked as if it had been sawed off. That was no accident on the set. It was a deliberate attempt on Rick's life. Mm-hmm. Well, it looks like we've got ourselves a little Miss Sherlock Holmes on the set. Look, we didn't hire you to play junior detective, so don't be sticking your nose where it doesn't belong, okay? Hmm. Well, I'll let you get back to your business. Goodbye. Okay, so there's Lillian, who's being mean. And what we can do now is, now that we've got some of the stuff from the uh, proper room, uh, I'm thinking the oil can, basically, Oh yeah, and the uh, and the little clock thingy. Let's get the clock thingy going. Clock thingy, clock thingy. And I think you, it's eleven o'clock. Awesome. And we get a hidden key. Cool. That's good, I guess. <laughs> that will come important later on, of course. I think maybe it unlocks this thingy. Oh, it does! Cool. Oh, but the power's off. What a shame. What a shame. In that case, we'll have to just do this. Oil down the uh, wheel. Alright, hardcore graphics. Nothing but the best in this game. And what's this? A piece of fabric from somebody's shirt. I guess that... You know what that means? That light was rigged to fall. We already knew that, but now we know it officially. Because somebody was messing around with that light. <laughs> okay, we don't need super dramatic music, everyone. Do -do -do -do. Let's go talk with Maddie and Rick. Do -do -do -do. I live in Maddie's room. It's open. We're supposed to be able to Hi, check Nancy. out. Hi, Nancy. Glad to see Dwayne could get you a job as an extra. Who knows? Maybe you'll be the next Serena Livingston. Mm-hmm. As if. I'm lucky if I can remember my stage left from my stage right. Dwayne was very helpful. I can't believe he got me a part, just like that. Yeah. Dwayne's a great guy. He gave me a chance when no one in this town would even give me the time of day. I don't think Dwayne likes Rick very much. Actually, the feeling's mutual. Dwayne was Rick's agent and helped him get the part of Rory Danner. Mm -hmm. But later on, Rick ditched him to go with a larger agency. 
I guess to help him get out of his contract here. Hmm. Well, I'll see you later, Maddie. Break a leg. Oh, darn it. We're supposed to be able to explore that script. It's open. Room. Have you found anything out yet? No, not yet. Yeah, I should get back to learning my lines for tomorrow. Good luck. Oh, well, I guess we can't explore while she's not there. In that case, let's see if Rick's here. Is Rick here? Rick? Dude, buddy. Okay, Rick's not. Rick is not there. Never mind. So, uh, let's go back to Maddie's place. Hey, taxi! Where to, lady? 7226 Lexington Avenue, please. On my way! Huh? Wait, we're here. It's locked. Do -do 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 -do. Let's go inside. <laughs> and Nancy's got a package. From Hannah. Aw, it's a TV interview with Rick Arlen. Alright, let's watch this TV interview thingy. Okay, turn on the TV. And you insert the tape to see the interview. We're here on the set at Worldwide Broadcasting Studios with soap heartthrob Rick Allen. The studios are abuzz with talk that you may be heading for a career in films. Will Rory Danner be killed off the show? Rory is a character who is dear to my heart. I never put him in a life-threatening situation. I'll leave that to the writers. Well, how could anyone in their right mind leave such a gorgeous co-star, Maddie Jensen? Is it true that your on-stage love affair has led to an off-stage romance? Only my hairdresser knows for sure. Oh boy, he's the king of one-liners. Weren't you seen with that actress Greta Von Kamloops at Cannes earlier this year? Any chance you may be starring in a film with her in the near future? Oh no, not while I'm with the WWB Network. Our sources say that you've been a victim of a stalker, is that true? Well, yes, in a sense. I feel like I'm being watched at every moment, and always at the same time. Weekdays from 2 to 3 on Channel 13. Oh, ho, ho. oh Rick. Oh, oh. Next time I say we let the Clig light fall and kill him. Seriously, come on, buddy. Oh, horrible jokes. Anyway, now we call people. Nancy, best call for you while you were out. She said to call right away. Ooh, she must have heard about the case. Alright. So, Bess's phone number is 152... Oh, no, I did it wrong. 152355544468. I'm already missing Nancy Drew the Honey Carousel, where she had all of them on speed dial. It was so much easier. This is Bess. Hi, Bess. It's Nancy. Nancy, tell me everything. Did you get Rick's autograph for me? He's so gorgeous. It must be so exciting to be on the set with all those stars. George filled me in on everything that's happened, so tell me who the suspects are. I can't believe someone would do this to Rick. So basically what you do here is you talk about all the suspects, which is everybody in the game except for Ralph, the security guard. Maddie is really oh, nice, well. but I can't rule her out. Oh my gosh, wouldn't it be weird if Maddie was behind it all? What if Maddie really had a secret motive to get rid of Rick, like Marlena on Crimson Cove last year? I don't think so, Bess. Real life isn't a soap opera, you know. So, who are the other suspects? Let's see, there's this odd woman who's the prop master. Mm-hmm. That must be Millie Strathorn. Did you know she owns the entire network and it's worth millions? She's a total cat lover. I heard she treats her cats like royalty. So, who are the other suspects? How do you know about Millie Strathorn's cats, Bess? You know, it just might be Rick who's behind these threats. <sighs> no way, Nancy. Why would he send death threats to himself? <laughs> Get real. It could be a publicity stunt. Yeah. I know Rick has a reputation for being a practical joker, <laughs> but I think he'd get enough publicity by just being cute. So, who are the other suspects? 